Given that I have a channel which covers personal finance topics, that may come as a surprise to some of you, but a few years ago, right until my late 20s, I was completely financially illiterate. Yes, I had no idea what index funds were, how to invest or what the five movement was. And it's not that I was not well educated, I studied right until doctorate level in a quantitative field. But never once in my entire life had I been taught about financial education. I went through life with the same goals most of us have been taught. Number one, study hard as there's a lot of emphasis on education and culturally even more so. Number two, get a good degree and by good I mean one that will eventually earn you a good income. Number three, secure a great job. Number four, save money, with savings defined as basically anything that's left over after your expenses have been paid for. Number five, work until the retirement age of 65. Number six, finally enjoy retirement and the remaining years of your life, if you're able to. So I did what I was told and worked my way through the top four points in my life. If you stop and think about this, this template doesn't work for everyone. Thus, I realised that I didn't have much savings, and that fundamentally there was something wrong with this blueprint. Actually, every single point of this so-called blueprint was wrong. It made me question everything, why am I following these rules? To be happy? Who defines this as happiness? How do you even define happiness? What makes you think that happiness is something to be generalised rather than personalised? Take this as an example, someone with a few worldly possessions, but living free, might be the happiest person they could be. Similarly, another individual might be the happiest with all the creature comfort of modern life, iPads, iPhones, TV, internet. Swap these two around and they will be the unhappiest people on earth. So clearly there's no blueprint for happiness, similar to how individuals are all different and unique in their own ways. Ok, I digress into a philosophical rant here, but back on topic, here I was in my late 20s having no personal finance education, although I understood pretty well how the economy works. Isn't that ironic trying to see where the economy is going, but not paying nearly enough attention to where I'm going financially? But I'm not the only one, talking to friends and family, it quickly dawned on me on how many people were actually in the same situation and making basic personal finance mistakes, for example, not actively managing their income and expenditure to optimise their savings, or putting all their money into low interest savings account, or buying a house that will set them back financially, thinking it's a good investment or stock picking and failing to beat the market, or worse, lose a huge portion of your money. And it's not their fault really, nobody showed them what to do and what not to do. Parents are only able to teach you to the best of their abilities, but if they themselves don't know this, how can they teach their children? Luckily however, with the internet and platforms like YouTube, it's never been easier to learn and grow. Just be very careful to who you listen to because there are equally good and bad information out there. An example of this is the rise of fake news and conspiracy theories. Now this was the very essence and the purpose of my channel. I wanted to learn more about personal finance and build my path towards my true goal. That goal for me is to achieve financial independence. I want to do something because I love it and not having to worry about having enough money. For example, I like making videos on my channel and helping others, but at the same time I have bills to pay, which is why I have a full-time job. Nevertheless, I've come a long way in learning about personal finance. I've gone out and used my skill set, that is I've looked through the literature, analysed concept, using critical thinking as well as quantitative methods. Now there's a feeling of satisfaction once you understand and know how things work, similar to growing your own food or DIY. I definitely recommend it. So if you're like me and you want to question what you've been taught and learn through the process, then stay with me and make sure you subscribe and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. I'm also keen to hear about your personal finance journey, so please do use the comment section below to tell me more. And thank you, and see you next time.